with the concrete layer is placed on top of the ancient prepared material in order to provide a level working surface for the bulk weight is 9.5 tons delivered on pallets which takes on average one day to install the level of the plinth. It's topping and tailing. Which is you connect the big crane and the small crane onto the tower. The big crane takes the lift, the small crane tails the tower in under the big crane until the big crane has the full weight of We drop the base tower gently down over the bolts. We then proceed to rattle up the bolts to a thousand newton meters. We then send our technicians up top to release the crane. We repeat this process three more times for the remaining three tower segments. Control. We then proceed to lift the, the hub into place. Again, 85 metres, we're looking at 10 minutes. Okay. The next step is the installation of the blades. The first step with the blades is to insert the bolts on the ground. Once the technicians are happy that everything is in place, the banksman will signal to both crane drivers to proceed with the lift. The banksman will closely watch the blade and keep it level. Once the banksmen on top have visual of the blade, they will take over the lift. They will then bank the blade into position and attach the nuts. Once they have all the nuts attached, they will then release the main crane. They will then bank the assist crane off the tip of the blade. This is used by pulling down hard on a rope to release the sling. Once the sling is released, the assist crane will slew away from the blade. He is closely watched by the banksman up top. When both cranes are clear, they will then turn the rotor into position for the second blade. They will repeat the process for the second blade and then again for the third blade. When the third blade is installed, they will then remove These the These tests are passed successfully will the wind farm be handed over to the operation and maintenance crews. The Kuka wind farm will produce clean energy from the wind for the next 20 years. Dozens of wind farms and solar plants are under construction